We're gonna use this uh, OBD2 Bluetooth adapter and our phone to diagnose the check engine light. So the first thing you'll do is you plug this in through the OBD2 port underneath the dashboard and then once you do that you have to turn on the ignition so this can power up. So now we have plugged in our OBD2 scanner, we go to settings and then we go to connections, turn on your Bluetooth and select Bluetooth and then if it's not automatically scanning you want to hit scan and then down here where it says available devices select OBD2 or the name of your OBD2 scanner sometimes that might not say OBD2 it might just have the particular name of your scanner uh, or your Bluetooth adapter and then here it's asking for a pin it's usually one two three four or zero 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 and here we're paired you can see paired devices next we need to get an app that can scan your vehicle so and here just go to your market and then uh, go search for OBD2 you can see here there's several free software there's dash command OBD2 um, or car scanner we're gonna go with torque and then you we have already installed this one here open and then down here up here you can see the Bluetooth, Bluetooth adapter it's trying to connect to the vehicle since that vehicle light is flashing and once that becomes solid, we can go ahead and scan for fold code. So that is solid. Now we can go here and select fold codes. And then tap here to scan. And this does take a few seconds. And then you just say zero fold codes. Uh, if there were any codes, I'll show in this list. Okay, and to erase them, you go there and you select clear full codes. And that's it. Uh, this menu, of course, is gonna change depending on what app you're using. You can see real-time information here. And then this is also important. Uh, this is a mission readiness test. So if you had to take your car in for a mission test, if you have uh, several of these that say incomplete, like in this case, we have EGR incomplete or two heater sensor or two sensor, all these that are incomplete are gonna fail in a mission test. So if you go in, they're gonna tell you just go and drive your cars for a few more days and return because usually after a few driving cycles this should reset on their own uh, there is also a particular driving pattern for each make that if you drive in at a certain speed and then you increase the speed constantly and and a few other steps um but uh, that can you know make all these systems test in just one driving cycle but usually uh, in most cases you don't need to really even worry about that you can just drive your ov comp as you normally would you're going to take a few trips to work here or grocery store and then all these systems will be um, tested and they will change to complete as long as there is no issue with the car once you have all of these complete or not available you don't have to worry about not available that system is not installed in your car uh, then and no check engine light you can take your car back in for an emission test and that's it that's how you can use a bluetooth adapter to read codes from your vehicle thanks for watching